What you're gonna see is a picture of a migrant. I screenshotted it. It's the only clean part of the picture I can. Now he's found out where a, a young white girl he's taken a fancy to lives. And he's looking through the window and in this clip, he does the tongue thing as if to say he wanted to do oral sex to her. And then after that, literally just gets the old boy out and knocks one out in about five seconds flat. Which is disgusting and obviously harrowing for this girl. And you can hear the girl saying, go away or something like that. And she's obviously upset. When you let in the third world, and the lowest form of the third world, right, these are people that have no problem with rape, have no problem with breaking all the laws, don't actually give two shits about anything. They've got no dignity, they've got no decency, they've got no ethics, no morals. Look, pick it. Everything that makes us great about being British, they don't have, all right? Nothing. These people do not enhance fuck all. All they're going to do is ruin society victimize people, rape people, kill people, murder people, burgle people, rob people, everything bad. This is what the lowest forms of that society that are migrating here will do. We've cherry picked the best ones, all right? If you have a look at the NHS, <clears throat> you'll see a load of them there. You'll see architects and solicitors. We had the best. These are the worst, all right? And you'll actually see the best, look at the worst coming going, fuck that, I'm off. In the meanwhile, old Brit's gotta stay there while his kids get fucking victimized, raped, beaten, stabbed, robbed off, just pick your crime. Now what we're gonna end up with is civil war. I've talked about this endlessly, but this is the way it's heading and it's unstoppable now. And nobody wants it, by the way. Because I go on about it, it doesn't mean that I'm looking forward to it. I remember the good old days of growing up in the 80s and the 90s, how we could go out, how we could do stuff, how we could meet people, how we weren't a threat of getting stabbed all the time. That is a left you living. London, I think even then, in parts of London and Birmingham, it wasn't brilliant, so I'm not rose tinted here. But what we're gonna have to have, right, is a way of protecting ourselves. Now, when you look at the way society goes into civil war, it's a slow process in many cases. And you can take, say, for instance, how paramilitary organizations come out. You looked into Ireland back in the early days, the Catholics thought they were at threat, and then the Protestants thought they were at threat from the Catholics. But this was a slow process of where it was built up to a, a crescendo. And in the end, both sides were taking lumps out of each other and this one off for 30 years. What we're gonna end up having here are communities that are gonna have to protect themselves and you will end up with the more psychopathic people from that coming forward and leading groups. It won't be good, by the way, it's bad. I'm saying this is going to be bad, but this is the way it will be. And psychopathic groups will come out and find out where people like that lived and it won't be good at all. They won't want to get the law involved. And like Northern Ireland, people started ending up in back alleys, dead. People who ended up down back roads, dead. <clears throat> nobody wants this. I keep saying this, nobody wants this, but this is what's going to happen. Because so many innocent white people, Sikh people, and, and, and people who aren't from the community that are coming in, right, have ended up raped, stabbed, murdered, okay, robbed from, beaten. How much can people put up with? Well, I'll tell you no more and groups of really really strong fucking determined men will get together in the future okay and it will be bad that's all i'm saying it will be bad nobody wants it but what do you do you can't keep staying there getting battered so i'm saying to the government now you are going to be on these bad people's lists believe it or not look at ireland look what happened Look what they did to politicians they thought were going against them. This is what's going to happen. And these vigilantes will go after anybody who they see as the enemy. And you're creating a perfect fucking storm for this to happen. So, there it is. Anyway, take the warning. Don't take the warning. Do what you fucking like. But this is what's coming. Anyway, if you want to see a link, or well, the, the link to the description of that video is actually in my telegram. The link is below. I've got to go to work. I'll see you in a bit.